Welcome everyone. Today we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Autotask PSA setup. SOFO Central Partner Dashboard is now able to hook into your Autotask PSA for billing integration. This is going to be billing integration only. Okay, so to start, we're going to log into your SOFO Central Partner Dashboard. Once in the SOFO Central Partner Dashboard, we're going to go to Settings and Policies. You're going to select PSA Integration. From the PSA integration, you're going to see both the ConnectWise and now the newly Autotask integration. If you have not set this up already, this will show getting started. The first thing we need to do is actually open the Autotask integration guide. In the Autotask integration guide, we want to go into the Autotask setup. There are going to be some key components that need to be configured first before we can continue. If we come into section two of the integration guide, you're going to see 2.1.1 is checking for software as a service billing code. To do this, we're going to log into your Autotask. We're going to click on the admin. Under admin, we're going to go into finance, accounting, and invoicing, and billing codes. Inside of the billing codes, we're going to look at the service tab, and we're going to ensure that software as a service is created and that the name is identical. If the name has any variation in it, you will need to create a new service code for software as a service. This is required for the integration to work. So again, to find this, we're going to click on the A. We're going to select Admin. We're going to select Finance, Accounting, and Invoicing. Billing Codes. And select Service. Under Service, we'll see software as a service. Again, if you do not see this here exactly as we have it in here, go ahead and hit new. This will bring up a new service code. You can copy and paste the name directly from the guide. Again, get with your accounting staff here on what general ledger information, tax categories this needs to go into. The only thing we're concerned with here is the name is exactly as we have it, software as a service. The next thing we're going to do is create an API user account. This will be the account that SOFO Central will use to connect to your Autotask instance. To do this, we're going to go to click on the A, go to Admin, Features and Settings, Resource Users. Under here, we're going to click Create a New Resource User. And under the General tab, we're going to fill out all of the required information. So again, we're going to click the A, we're going to go to Admin, we're going to go to resources and users and we're going to select resources and users from here we're going to hit new and we're going to pre-fill the information we want for the sofo central api connector once you have your information filled out on the general tab we're going to click on the security tab from here this is going to create a username that will be used by sofo central to log into your account you can leave this as is or make changes as needed. Once you have your username selected, under security level, we're going to select API user. And off to the right hand side, you'll see API tracking identifier. Select integration vendor. And in the drop down, you'll find SOFO Central dash security. You will get a prompt box letting you know that this will associate the vendor's API tracking identifier click OK. It is important that you select the SOFO Central dash security. Do not try to create any custom integration on there. This is a back-end tracking identifier linking directly to SOFO Central. From here, ensure that you have a password selected for this account. Once you have your password selected, you'll have to go through the remaining required fields on the HR tab, Approvers tab, and Associations. Fill these out in accordance with your company. The next step in here is to enable the SOFO Central Dash Security Integration Vendor. Note that this is not required to enable it, but it does make it much easier to find in the future. So again, click on your A. We're going to go to Admin, Extensions and Integrations. Extend out the other extensions and tools and click on the Integration Center. You can search for SOFO Central once you find it. 
Go ahead and highlight over the three little lines, click edit, and just mark this account as active. Hit save and closed, and you're all set. This will also show you all of the users that are currently associated to that Sofo Central integration vendor. The next section, 2.1.4, is simply just verifying that you have customers and contracts already set up in your system. If this is a well-established Autotask account, you will already have this and you can skip it. For the next section on 2.2, we're going to go back to Sofo Central. In Sofo Central, under our PSA integrations, you're going to have a getting started. You're going to go ahead and click on the getting started. And what that is going to do is provide you with a username and password. That username and password is going to be the API username and password that you created inside of Autotask. In my case, it was the central API. If you are unsure what your username was and you didn't write that down, you can go back to your resource management. Inside of the security tab for that, you can see that mine is mglobal at sophosandbox.com. Again, you can see my integration vendor is sophocentral-security. Once you have that information filled out, click on save. If everything is set up correctly on Autotask, it will bring you to this screen here. From here, we're able to see all of your Sofo Central monthly customers, and we're able to associate them to your Autotask customers and contracts. Keep in mind, you will not be able to see your termed licenses from this integration. This is simply for monthly flex billing accounts. From here, what we can do is go ahead and get an account set up. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the Weber Labs. So under the Autotask customer name, I'm gonna go ahead and start typing in the information and you'll see that I have my Weber Labs. Next, we'll need to click on contract. For this particular account, you can see that I do not have any contracts. So I will need to go back into Autotask and create a contract for this customer. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and take a look at a different account now. We're gonna come and use Sparrow, and we're actually gonna look for, in this case, Department of Public Works. That does not match up against our Sparrow Industries, but just for sake of showing you how this works, we can now come in here and under the contract, select the Department of Public Works hosted software as a service. That is gonna be the contract we are gonna update inside of Autotask. From here, we still need to go ahead and enable the sync to PSA. Once this is enabled, click on save. This will let you know that the Autotask is done on a nightly basis every 24 hours, you can at any point in time come in here and hit sync now. Now, if we come into a contract on Autotask, we can see that the services are created automatically for that particular customer. The one thing that you will need to change on your services will be your unit cost and the price that you are charging for that. These are not filled in by Sofo Central. This is something you'll have to fill in based on what tier you are part of and what you're getting billed at for those particular products. If you highlight over any of the product names that do not make sense to you, it will give you the full description. In this case, highlighting over EP underscore X underscore MDR will let you know that this is Intercept X Advanced with EDR and MTR standard. The one below that is the MTR Advanced. At this point, you have your Autotask PSA integration set up. You are now able to sync your billing directly into Autotask. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and we'll be happy to answer them. Thanks.